Hello and welcome back to Views on the Road. I'm your host Steph and today I'm going to show you how to make beef mole tacos. If you love juicy, tender, flavorful tacos, these are for you. For this delicious recipe you'll need three pounds of chuck roast, half a cup of mole paste, one cup of orange juice, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, and some tortillas. Add your mole paste to your bowl, add your warm orange juice, chicken bouillon, and combine until your mole is completely dissolved. Once your paste is dissolved, you're going to start adding your pieces of beef. Once you've coated all your beef, you want to add a little bit of oil. You can marinate this for 30 minutes or for best flavor overnight. I'm going to go ahead and let this rest for 30 minutes. Today I'm going to use my Instant Pot Dutch Oven. If you guys don't have one of these, that's okay. You can make all of this on your stovetop. But for those of you that are interested, we're going to link it in the Amazon storefront and I highly suggest it. I'm in love. It's amazing. I'm going to press the sear slash saute button and we're going to wait for this to warm up a good five minutes. So make sure you hit start. And while our Dutch oven is warming up, I'm going to add a big spoon of lard. You can use oil, but the flavor that's going to come out if you use lard is going to be just like your restaurant. While we're waiting for our lard and our pot to warm up a bit, I'm going to tell you why I love it. I love it because the cleanup is so easy. It's chef's kiss. It's a mom's delight. You have more time with your family and less time cleaning. I'm not about cleaning right now, so this is my new best friend. It's been about five minutes and I'm going to start placing my beef pieces. I'm not going to place too many at one time because I want some to get a really good sear. And if you start crowding it, you know that we get more of a steam and a boil. We want to sear on these tacos. I'm going to allow these pieces of beef to sear for four minutes without moving anything. Been four minutes and I'm going to start flipping our pieces. You're wondering what kind of sear you're going to get. You're going to get a beautiful one. Look at that. And now that I flipped those pieces, I'm going to add the remaining pieces of beef. And again, I'm going to let everything sear for another four minutes. Four minutes have elapsed and I'm just going to give it another turn to one of the sides where it hasn't been seared. Next, you're going to add the remaining of your marinade right into the pot. I'm going to add a little bit of water into our bowl. That's about one fourth of a cup just so that we can get all of that delicious marinade right into this pot. It's so, so good. And I really did work hard on that mole, so I want it all in here. And the mole recipe, you guys can find that in the description area. We posted it not too long ago. And just take your pieces, move them around in case any of the sear pieces are stuck or any of that delicious crust, we can incorporate it into our broth. Next, you're going to place the lid over your pot and we're going to press our braise button and that's going to braise it for two hours. After one hour, I'll come and move the pieces around to make sure nothing's sticking, but there has been a time when I didn't show up to move anything and nothing happened. You guys are going to be okay. And boom, done. Our mole beef is ready for some juicy tacos. Look at how juicy and tender each little piece is. Oh my goodness. I, you know, I'm not going to make you wait. I'm going to need somebody very special to say, uh. And the salsa I recommend with these tacos is the salsa that everyone should know how to make. We did it over the summer and I'll link it in the description area for you. Squeeze a little lime juice and yummy, yummy in our tummy. I'm really tired of eating super quick and easy tacos, so these tacos took a little bit more time, but they are so worth it because the flavor pulls through. I hope you enjoy these tacos as much as I do. 
Mm. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Now look away. Mm. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We hope you have a beautiful weekend. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.